Welcome to the University of Sussex School of Life Sciences. I'm here today to explain you our dynamic climb setup. And to begin with, I'll just introduce the main hardware components. So what we have here is the standard electrophysiology rig, what you usually would have in any electrophysiology lab. The biological preparation goes here. And then this is connected to a main amplifier, which is here the Axoplan 2B in our case. And that goes to recording computer over here. What makes the dynamic clamp setup is this side, where we have an extra uh, dynamic clamp computer with interfaces that are hidden in the back, and we'll discuss more in a minute. In our experiments, we use the Axoclam 2B amplifier that you can see here. It probably shares many features with the amplifier you're using in your own lab. And what's important here is uh, we're recording in bridge mode. We have the voltages of the two electrodes as they are measured at this point. And then we are taking these outputs 10 times the membrane potential measured at the first taste stage. Here it says 10 times Vm, it's hard to see. And here we're taking the voltage from the other head stage, which is called V2. And we're actually filtering it through an extra amplifier of a 10 times amplification as well. Up here you can see the CD analog to digital converter we use for the electrophysiology part um, to record the experiments that's separate from the analog to digital converter, digital to analog converter used for dynamic clamp which we'll explain next. Okay, now we're here at the back of the computer we were looking at the front before and we have the amplifier from the back that's the Axoplan 2B I was talking about. And it's connected with its outputs, its voltage outputs, here to our interface to Dynamic Clamp, which is the National Instruments Board and the fitting connectors. So you see here, that's the inputs coming in, inputs in terms of the Dynamic Clamp, voltage from the cell, and here is the output, that's the current command that will go back into the cell. What we see here is an isolated central nervous system of an adult Limnaeus stagnalis. Here is this central ganglionic ring, and what we can see here is a sharp microelectrode which is impaling the large cerebral giant cell, or the CGC. Here we have an example of pattern clamping a interneuron of the mollusk Limnaea stagnalis. This is the CGC, which is a tonically spiking interneuron, which fires at a rate of around 0.7 Hz in general. What we are going to do is to impose an accelerating, decelerating burst of spikes upon the cell. And we do that now. The cell would never usually fire at such a rate, and as you can see, we, we are able to elicit around 8 spikes. The top trace shows the current injected, which is between minus 2 to 3 nanoamps. You can also see that interbursts, there are no spikes generated, they're actively suppressed by the system. So if we turn that off now, you can see that the cell fires happily on its own and returns to its regular firing rate. This completes our brief introduction. Thank you for watching.